Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn, and welcome to Fun with Temperatures. I thought we'd start off just kind of evaluating what the temperatures are doing in this, this cabin here. Now that we've got things kind of separated out, we've officially got a living room space with four walls around it, a kitchen space, a hallway space, and three individual bedrooms warmed through these vents right here. And in front of the fireplaces, we are holding 70s to 60s to 50s out at the perimeter. Hallway is a pretty even mid-60s to 50 at the end. And kitchen is 60s to 70s. So these are working pretty well. Through the vent, bedrooms are in the upper 40s. And that is a constant through the entire room. And as long as we stay warmer than their minimum of well for Simon it's 35 because he doesn't have a coat so who is this Edmund you're at 17 so as long as the bedroom is warmer than 35 and we are at 48 Simon's gonna be fine so right now temperatures seem to be working click away um, Cathra brought up a suggestion or maybe suggested an experiment um, what if we put a window into the freezer? Just out of curiosity, would we be able to let cold winter air in and chill the room? Um, a question that I had earlier is, if the room is colder than the refrigerator, what is the temperature that is going to be inside the refrigerator? The refrigerator temperature or the much colder temperature of the room? Refrigerator is running at 39 degrees right now. The room is running at 34 degrees. It's actually colder. It would chill the food more if we open up the refrigerator doors. Or if we just turn the power off, it would then drop to the 34 degrees. So we would get, you know, if, if we get a cold snap, we definitely want to do that. Problem is, without a cold snap, we're still warming up during the day. So if we get into the 40s, we're actually warmer than refrigerator. So 30, leaving the refrigerators on guarantees that it's going to uh, going to stay that way. But it's unfortunately it's not using power, or not using up any more power either. Generators are going to run out in two days whether you use the power or not. So I can't conserve power by turning it off unless I just turn off the generator, which darkens our whole all of our lighting. So there's no real win in that situation, but it would be curious to try the window idea. I wish I could see inside there. It's so dark right now. We don't have these lights built, but I see we've got a getting a little closer. Now we can see we've got a space for a window here and a space for a window here. So let's try that. Um, so the side of this guy, I can see that from out here. Um, house. Let's go with windows or small windows. Boy, it's hard to tell. Let me flip around this way. Right there. And I want the shutters outward. Looks like that's it. So if I do that, now we can see it. Yeah. So we'll put that in and we'll play with it. Hopefully I remember the next night, the night after this and we'll we'll see how the temperature goes up and down with the outside does it let outside air in or is it independent of don't know for instance i think you open the windows during the summer to cool the house down but if it's hotter outside than in the house is it still going to cool the house down i mean in real life no but in this game it's like putting it on a hat and suddenly you can uh, you can handle hotter temperatures so We'll see how it actually works compared to how we assume it works. Um, what other housekeeping notes are going on? Carter was late getting in, so he's he was out there scavenging, so he's going to go and uh, go to bed here. Um, okay, aggressive animals. <laughs> um, building a pathway I have in my notes. There's, there's no pathing in the game. Uh, housing... Uh, it has floor and flooring cannot go on the ground to my knowledge it can only go on a floor right there 
So, in fact, that look kind of nice, wouldn't it? Um, the floor itself, grab a soil floor. What I'm wondering is, can we put a floor and then put a little staircase down to it? And then put another floor and a little staircase down and just kind of work up a, a terraced pathway up this thing. I think it might look kind of nice if I can figure out how to pull it off. I wouldn't want to do it on camera. It would probably take me the whole hour just to, you know, trial and error my way up through there. But that's something I'm kicking around. Um, need to get these guys to cut trees today. Um, let's turn all these back on. There's my trees. Okay. So I cut trees today so we can get some, some wood in the bank so we can open this up and get it done. If we don't go up there and get the bugs this winter, we can at least maybe get the, the house finished this winter. That's possible. Uh, what else is going on? I'm paused. Yeah, so... And I need to remember to get Simon out there doing more crafting. And since he doesn't have a coat right now anyway, maybe it was not a good idea to have him do all the, the traveling and carrying when he didn't even have a coat on. Did he never have a coat? Or did his wear out? I don't know. Uh, Kana will be working on one when she gets up. She's, I think she's on coats right now. But <clears throat> let's set Simon up for today at least as a crafter. Right there. So he will then get into things that are actually crafting, unlike sewing. So he should dive into here and start making liquid manure. Um... It says we're waiting materials rather than materials aren't available, so they do exist. We've got... Does this say in crafting supplies? We have 271 manure, but I don't know if that's in the house. So there's 33 and 8, and you are officially silicon. So we have 41 in here. He, is, he can do one, the rest he'd have to go out and get more. Wonder if that degrades. Curious. Unrefrigerated. <laughs> so if we refrigerate our poo, we can make it last 96 days. Otherwise, it's only going to last 48. I don't see us keeping it in hand that long. I think it will uh, go away quite quickly. So where are you guys? Over here. We have got one, two, three, four scissor hands. And a bunch of scarabay, um, normal ones. And they are all over here, and our traps are in. Great. Okay. There's that creepy music. And they're content just to kind of hang over here. There's, there's nobody around to go and bully. No, no other bugs around. Okay. Three in the morning. <clears throat> so... Nine in the morning, the attack happens. I'm going to let these guys sleep. Not going to worry about it. And with that many traps available now, we're probably not too worried about this attack. Um, Fuel-wise, where are we at? Zero. So we've got these. Oh, these all got moved. Okay. So there's no more fuel left in the barrels down there because the barrels are up here. That one is pickling vegetables. We're halfway done with that one and that one. And more pickling vegetables. Okay. So there'll be no fuel today. At best it'll be tomorrow. And this is probably going to get the first round of fuel that Simon makes. He's going to just take it directly to the generator. Because it's calling for it. And dog is hungry. Food sitting right there. Rita should be set to first thing tame. I didn't set her to do that. Before I quit last time I told her to feed. So, bring food on the way. So, I guess tame means bring food. Okay. We'll see. Um, otherwise, Carter's eating. Let this thing go. Um, I guess that's all in the way of notes. We do need to get some spears going, though. So, that is a crafting thing. So, hopefully, Simon will jump into that one as well. Get some slop in stock, and then get to the spears. And get to the veggie leather. Could also be, it depends on which bench he goes to. They're, they're all officially crafting. 
Now, I did get that right, all right? Activities, Simon. I put a one on there. So when there's nothing to craft, he'll drop back into delivering. By then, he should have a coat. So we are working on coats first, right? That's here. Uh, shirts. We have one in stock. Okay, so we're going to finish a shirt. And then we're going to do the coats. Okay. All right, so these guys are spreading out a little bit. They're getting a little bored. And they, uh, they're hungry. And I'm surprised they haven't gone off in search of a, of a glutch or a gulch or whatever they're called. <laughs> huh. um, yeah, I, I wouldn't go over there too much further, okay? Yeah. All right, so these guys are waiting for us. Oh, what a noise. Hello. Yeah, they do make a noise. These guys kind of chirp. Thump. There was a thump. What was the thump? Uh, Paulette is cooking. Kana is still sleeping. Rita's training dog. I'll need to know that you fed dog. You did feed dog. Okay. And Simon is doing slop. All right. Um, that it right now. Edmund is constructing a large window. So he went to... What does a large window take? That you've got to go somewhere. It just takes wood. wood so what is Edmund doing you needed the wood that was laying on the ground down here okay well I guess he's cleaning things up okay I'll uh, I'll accept it any more can we get it all on the same trip and not have to repeat this we can okay what are you you are just a log sitting here waiting to be cut okay the remains of an old tree. That's strange. Cannot be cancelled because the object is blocked blocking the construction of the grain cob field. Uh what does oh, so we have to take that out because we want to put grain cob there. I see. Okay. So nine o'clock is when our attack hits. So <clears throat> seven o'clock they are all relaxing. 8 o'clock, they drop in to do whatever they want, which is meant for, to give them a chance to finish up a breakfast or something if they didn't get a chance to before they start their day. Nothing more annoying than getting them all the way out there to do something than come all the way back for food. So, hopefully, that gets changed in time. Cathro was mentioning in a comment that, you know, our RimWorld series long ago we uh eight o'clock we uh it was a little frustrating that they would take a a low-end meal that didn't give them any benefits and then they would eat them out there and without a table and get the negatives from that too you know they carry their own food but there was also the benefit that they could go off and do something and carry their own food this game doesn't seem to have that all right so it is time is anybody doing something we can't don't want to mess up. Rita is so close. I'm going to leave her alone there. Kana is tailoring. And I don't get a sense of a... Oh, you just walked in. Okay. Um, Edmund, did you ever get back with the wood? You did. I'm going to let you load that thing up. Right there. Okay. And Rita is done. And I think we can go ahead and grab everybody. Though, oh, Paulette was handling a fireplace. All right, let's do it. So is there anyone that doesn't need to be down there? I don't think that's a thing. I think we can all do it. Yeah. So Carter, draft everybody. Come on down. Jump into here. And let's have a ball. <laughs> um, probably cut that a little bit close, didn't I? Once that goes to nine, they're already here. Yeah. I probably should have done that a little bit sooner. Come on, guys. Double time. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's pull over here. Oh, there it is. So what's what's going to happen now that uh, 
We're all going to meet outside of the wall. Head in, head in, head in. Okay, this one's close. Ah, the trap saved us. Okay. So, Rita, I want you to go here. Anybody else still down here, or are you the last one? You are the last one other than Dog. Okay. So you head that way and head in. And the traps are saving us quite a bit. Once Rita gets over here, I'll let her loose. Actually, I'll put her up here. And Carter, you are there right now. I want Paulette with her stun gun right here. And Simon, you can back her up. And... Not Simon, Carter. Simon, you are already here. Just leave you alone. Edmund, you're off over in this direction. Probably... Yeah, right there. Unless they do come all the way around. And I've got to, got to peg them over here. But Kana, you are over there still. But you're coming into this area. Um, let's... Let's put you over here. And Umer, you are where right now? You're on the ladder. Okay, you're coming up. And you're going to there. Pop you into... As close into this area as you can find room to squeeze in. Uh, damage brick. So you guys are pounding away over here. Okay. They're shooting. Boom, boom, boom. We've got damage devices. What are devices? Gates? I guess if I click it, it will tell me. Uh, oh, the torches. Kind of forgot about those. Yeah. And the other is a torch. So they're going to take out the torches. Well, sure. They'll give them something to, something to pick on while we're getting into place. Yeah. Probably not a lot of finesse going on this battle. Just kind of shoot and take things out. I don't see any walls about to go down. There's nobody trapped outside the walls. Simon reached combat 3. Nice. And the traps are holding them. And we're just going to take them out. Yep. And we'll get in here and get a view. Hello. <laughs> okay, you are coming around now. You just don't know what to do. But we have taken out a wall. Ooh. Okay. Shoot this guy. And make sure that that worked. So Paulette definitely... Oh. You're basically done anyway, so just one more set to there, and boom. Okay, you're down. Any bugs in here? Nope, you can't do that. So stay there, and who can you hit? And what is going on here? You guys are just picking at walls. Okay. Is there anybody who can't reach any anything to shoot? And destroyed, attacked, two and six left, combat two, great. Otherwise, nobody else has taken advantage of our broken wall yet. Oh, I didn't even see that happen. Whoops. Whoops. Big whoops. No red bars, we're okay, but they can reach now. So everybody, take this guy out. Um... There, there, Paulette, there, he can reach over that wall and hit, is that Carter? I can't tell, Carter, okay, so Carter is momentarily dazed from the fall, I think that's what that's representing, but so far not injured, so give me a stun in here, alright, there's the stun. And Carter's kind of trapped at the moment. Hmm. Here's a, uh, you know, a situation I never actually planned on. Who are you trying to hit? I assume you're trying to hit the wall. I don't know if you can reach over and hit these or not. It's possible you can. That might be what happened here. That probably is what happened here. You reached over and took out that wall. Edmund, I need you over here. That wall's... That floor is not got a lot left in it. Okay. Over like that. You're still safe. That floor is fine. Okay, so take him out. 
boom. Whoa. Okay. That uh, we're done with that uh, plasma blast. Plasma. What's your what's your rifle called again? The pulse rifle knocked him backward with a strong pulse. Okay, so we've got to dig Carter out. Can Carter? Carter can climb up. He can climb up and get over. That's right. And can he build, rebuild, though, from the top? Eh, we'll have to wait and see if that's possible. Now, one thing that I enjoyed uh, watching Solid Content figure out, when he builds his walls, he then builds kind of a honeycomb. He will throw a you know, brick wall and then a brick wall out and then put another brick wall in here and create these little boxes all the way around. And they will beat up the outside of that box and eventually get into the inside and try to beat up the inside. Or most of the time they'll just attack anything. So they're, they're beating up the side walls as well, trying to get, just trying to destroy something. And it buys you a lot more time. And I've watched him run that and, and it works quite well. So that's probably a design feature I'm going to add in out over here. You'll get a chance to watch his... Uh, Watch his his series on this. He's got a couple series on this. They're they're pretty good. He's he's an entertainer. So you guys are all done. I'm going to set them all to to uh, butcher bug meat, and I will catch you on the other side. All right. I think that is the the worst of the gruesomeness of it. <laughs> got it all cleaned up. Carter's already uh, dropping uh, bricks around and getting ready to repair things. I uh, had Paulette and Edmund reset traps, and Edmund is... We had Pooh right away? What? <laughs> Edmund's kind of not in, in, in great shape. He's crushingly unhappy. We'll see if he, uh, if he makes it. In fact, I might just have him drop the goods. Well, he's going to head into... What does he need? food or does he need relaxation he needs both so we'll walk him into the kitchen he'll probably grab a meal and hopefully he'll be fine otherwise dog got his food he ate 10 okay and i saw uh simon wanting to make slop i don't know if he actually did it or not uh 20 of 20 so that's already made and ready to go so that should get uh i don't know how much will i think quite a bit will load into here so we could load up quite a bit. I just don't know how long it will last. So I don't want to do too much at a time. All right. So he's transporting the old and he's putting it in the fridge. Yeah, that's a shame. Could have gone there. That's what I was looking for last episode. So here's the power cord that officially powers the house, apparently. That must handle this one. So the power cord that handles the freezers, I don't know where that is. Unless this is the one that officially runs everything in the house. I'm not sure. Uh, destroyed torch. We'll fix that. So does it show where that was? It does not. Okay. See, I don't know if it counts what I have checked off as, as acceptable to pick up as part of our inventory of, uh, of 256 manure. I don't know. Uh, where these guys are, there's likely more new manure. So let's flag that to use. Anything more in this area? Uh, manure, we'll use all of that. And we've had one kind of roaming around here. Did he uh, leave us a little deposit? Apparently that's already checked. Um, otherwise, researching, eating, transporting slop, repairing and making meals so we're back to doing what we need to be doing window is stocked but not built yet temperature inside is 44 indoors outdoors is 36 so i guess it's not considering this as an open void though it's not built yet that's not a thing and it's quite possible that these things let off heat in real life they do they let off a lot of heat all the heat that you're extracting from the inside of refrigerator is being released into its environment. So this room should be heated by that refrigerator. 
Now, the, the plan isn't to put refrigerators in here in long term. The plan is to put a, a heat pump right here and let the heat be sucked through the heat pump outside and leave, leave a chilly environment in there. So these were temporary measures. That wind is really blowing right now. So destroyed wooden floor. We that's yeah, that's been that's over here. It's not purple yet, so Carter oh, there it is right now. Dropping it in and he can he can work on it from the top. Oh, he's repairing. <clears throat> and it's done. Okay. So Edmund is repairing as well. Edmund, you're not quite going to uh well, you're still just a low risk. So you could still use some relaxation. You are going to go construct a large window. Is it already nighttime again? Wow, this went by fast. I'm on just normal speed. Boy. Okay. Um, so Simon tailoring. Is that a shirt? Kana, I think, is finishing up a shirt. So another day, and Simon should be... Uh, uh, should should have a coat to wear. You guys are still at least tomorrow morning before we're going to have fuel and can make another run to that screeching, shrieking noise. It has to be Shriekers, which I believe is the name for these cute little cuddly critters up here. I saw the red glow in the graphic and these things were glowing red when we were attacking them. So compare that to uh, Expeditions, that image in the woods. So I think the two are related. Exactly how I don't know, and will the person going be attacked, or are they gonna get some kind of a bonus? Come back with a bunch of carbon nanotubes or something. I don't know. There's quite a herd up here. That's right. These are the ones that we want to uh, to hunt when we go up to get to hunt the uh, those bugs up there. So I think <clears throat> those two are related. I'm seeing fuel being made over here. Good. We have only one poo left on the shelf. <laughs> um, it's nighttime. They're all starting to go to sleep already. And Rita is transporting even more food. 70. Interesting. I have it set to go until 40. But this apparently isn't being counted out here in the food trough. Yeah. That could be a problem. Slops over here. Go until 40. We have zero in stock. So can I put a limit in here? Now we have 90. I can't. I can only say what goes in here. Uh, group items by type. So we're only putting in slop and I can't say only do so much. So they're going to continue making slop forever. I mean, in the winter time it's okay. Uh, there. We're at 100% and refrigerated and frozen. We are indefinite. So the slop's going to last for a long time. But we're eventually going to go until this is completely full and we have 40 in the fridge. So let's move slop down the run a little bit and let's get to work on spears and bandages and healing bombs and smoke leaf pipes. We have yet to make those. Um, veggie leather is on this bench over here. So we'll get liquid fuel and veggie leather out of these. Limit of 100 so we're not spending forever making it and then we'll move on. Um, yeah, okay. So that, another day of Simon inside taking care of that kind of stuff. Then maybe we can get back to emptying these shelves. I'm guessing nobody else has worked on this since. So we've got... <clears throat> moonshine, some antibiotics left. All of our smoke leaves are out here. And a bunch more silicone and one more frozen... <laughs> frozen short bow. Okay. Otherwise, you were still at 96 after all this time. 96. Okay, so there's absolutely no growth when it's, when it's cold out. Okay, just checking. Rita was sitting. She should be in great shape right there. 
Uh, happiness only... Oh, 56%, but you're shooting up to here. Because you relaxed in an armchair and you bonded with the dog. Okay. <clears throat> Otherwise, um, was it built? It was built. Okay. So with an open window, we are 36 indoors and 28 outdoors. Let's just sit here for a while. Any more as we get closer? No, same temperature through the whole room. And it's holding at 36. These are holding at 39. It's 27, so we've got one degree colder outside and one degree colder inside. Okay, so are we going to track a constant, what is that? Seven, eight degrees difference. 26, 34. So we are, we're correlated. We are moving here as we're moving out there. Scavenged? Who's scavenging? Edmund. Dude. Oh, well. <laughs> Um, what did I, I'm trying to remember what I, a thought that just came to mind here. This guy, that shape right there, they're saying was part of a cruise ship. I wonder if, in me, to me, a luxury cruise ship means that the materials are going to be better quality. That looks like an engine kind of does. I just wonder if there's structures like that already down here. I don't have anything lit up. I'm going to let it run look around. Would they be from another cruise ship? Do different shapes of this debris give different... Um, and there's another one of those structures. Give different uh, finds when you scavenge them. Seems like up here there was one of those big structures. At least I thought there was. These are a very different shape, too. There's another one of those, what, what looks kind of like an engine. But I thought there was one of those cruise ship-looking structures out here somewhere. Hmm. Let me turn the, the afterburners on and buzz through this real quick. While we're waiting for, uh, for daytime. Well, if there is, it's too far away. I know I saw one, but I have been all over this map looking for various things. Now, you? You are probably who I'm thinking of. So I got one of these in there in this circle compared to that shape. Hmm. Of course, I might just be overthinking it too. That's very possible. <laughs> All right. So, did we get a... Just thinking about the chew root that we found up there. Where? How far away are we? Wow, we went a long distance. We did get a, a chew root garden planned out, right? That would have been up in here? Yeah, the field. Okay. And it probably says too cold for sowing. Yeah. Is there anything that is not? This does not say too cold for sowing, but it might be because it's already planted. Probably so. This one, here's one that's not planted, too cold for sowing. Okay. All right. Anybody up? No, we do have some life up here. Grabbing breakfast. Do we have breakfast? We do. No porridge, but we do have 14 meals. Good. Okay. Simon played a funny prank on Umair. Carter grabbing something to eat. Khan is tailoring. Hopefully the end of this shirt. And click that so the dog isn't pink anymore. Dog is happiness of 96%. He's 52% fat. Whatever that means. And he's got a training level of six. You are leftover smoke leaf, but nothing is harvestable. Okay. All right, so what are we doing today? You know, 
I just might... I know we need to get a bunch of cutting done. Maybe I'll play with the idea of this pathway. Could do that. Um, cutting. It is 23 outside. So if it's 20, 22 outside, it should be 29 or 30 inside. 32. So we'll just, we'll just leave the window open and... and We'll see what happens. Don't know. Carter's taking a walk. It must be seven, uh, six in the morning. So they're not officially relaxing yet. Uh, Carter, why don't you go play some darts? I think you get more benefit out of that. Um, so who to do some cutting? Cold snap. Ooh. Okay, now we're gonna, now we're gonna freeze our, our stuff in here. And I'd say we can go ahead and turn you off. We've got the torches in here for at least the the areas where we're working, though. I never did put one in by the sewing desk. Probably should do that right now. So copy you, put you in right there. And Carter Edmund. Edmund, you have a low happiness. Um, what are you doing right now? Eating. So Carter, when you're done... Your, well, your relaxation is quite low, too. Somebody eventually get that built, please. Uh, construct. Right there. Okay. Um. Oh. Deep rumbling. Cracking. Kind of the sound you can imagine of thick ice out on a lake or a river freezing and shifting and you know, almost like a little bit of an earthquake. I don't know if you guys heard it, but I, I felt it. <laughs> so that's apparently the sound of a cold freeze. Okay. We should have fuel soon. Uh, right there. I think we can send somebody off soon to go do something um hmm and who do you send for something like this shrieking noises i mean you want to send someone with high physical to carry back things i don't get the sense we're carrying things back this is more of an exploration you would probably want to send someone with the highest combat skill on something like that is that make sense agreed with Simon's approach to science Edmund did okay Edmund is chilly so we are 11 degrees outside so we are all going to be pretty much uh, uh, chilled 11 is below all of our clothing yeah now there are cold snaps and there are severe cold snaps it could get worse how are we inside now temperature wise we are still 64 in front of the fireplaces. Bedrooms are still above freezing. Even though we're so cold outside. Okay. I don't know if I could send Edmund off on an expedition when it's this cold. Does, once he's in that balloon, does the other modifiers in the game no longer affect him? You know, will he no longer feel cold no matter what he's wearing? I don't know. Unpowered devices. Because you ran out, not because someone actually turned it off. Okay, well, we'll leave it off till after the the, uh, the cold is done. And we do have light. So everyone can continue working on their various benches. Um... Carter is scavenging. He is only rated for 21 degrees. He's going to get cold. I'm thinking we're okay with that until we start to get the effects of um, hypothermia. So we'll work with that. Simon, mm, let's not. Simon, instead, just drop it. Okay, and you go craft that, and someone else, 
who's got some decent clothing on. Uh, 21, Paulette. You're good till 6. Paulette, what you doing right now? You are handling the diesel generator. You're exactly who I wanted to grab the fuel, but I want you to handle the balloon. Can you refuel there? I'd rather you just saved it and waited till the 20 was done, but most likely you're going to be incapable of that. It just... Uh, well, I could say don't refuel. I could. Okay. In that case, pick it up, bring it back inside, and then I'll have you just drop it. And then somebody will put it on a shelf. No, they'll take it to the balloon. <laughs> Can we move the balloon closer? Is it time to do that? You know? Yeah. Let's drop you into somewhere nearby. Uh, right out here. Yeah. Carter, you are scavenging. You just arrived. Why do you guys always want to do this one? There's three of six over here. There's three of six over here. Um, do we have anybody else out here? We don't. Carter, instead, why don't you move the hot air balloon? Yeah, you do that. Edmund is constructing an armchair. So that means he went to go get leather. Is that right? No, you found alloy. Oh, that's right. Carter found alloy last night. Okay. So you're going to get that done. Paulette is handling an air balloon. Paulette, you are... Oh, I didn't cancel you. You're still handling an air balloon. Okay. But Carter's moving the air balloon. <laughs> Paulette, go make a meal. <laughs> Can you go make some meat soup? There you go. Just drop it. Somebody else, though, I'm sure is going to get the order to uh, go handle a hot air balloon. It's, it's inevitable. Insufficient materials now is one. So we're one short of doing our last light. Okay, so Edmund is constructing an armchair. Rita's fertilizing. You found something to fertilize, huh? So, is there still that much fertilizing to do? Where'd the corn go? Did it fall apart, or did you get rid of it to fertilize it? I don't know. What do you actually do when you fertilize? Are you... Handle a hot air balloon. Oh, Carter, where are you? Um, Rita, just... Fertilize, not enough resources. Maybe you only had an, enough to do one little spot. You pulled the one off the shelf there, didn't you? Yes, you did. All right, that thump, that sounded important. What was that? Edmund is doing ceiling lamps. Okay, so research energy storage. Oh, good. So now we can handle a hot air balloon and not walk across the whole map to move just 10 gallons of fuel. Yeah. Okay, so with that, you are moving into solar panels. And then you're going to move into wind power and into the power cells. And then you're going to go work on sleep. Though I, now that batteries are available, I would rather you got the batteries in first and then worked on sleep. Then we can begin the process of storing power. So much better. And then we can actually start conserving power by not running the refrigerator. Oh, when you put it that way, it makes sense. So the generator will run until it fills the batteries, and then the batteries will hold until you gradually use it up. And if you're only running lights, then it's gonna last a long time. Okay, that's starting to make good sense. Carter, you have been outside for quite some time now. Health-wise, what are you doing? Dementia moderate, your temperature outdoors, we're up to 30 or 24 degrees. Okay. Risk of meltdown, Kana. Are you 
stuck doing this? What you doing? You are transporting, and then from here, you're going to go and enjoy yourself, right? You are... Nope, you're going to work on a... Was that a coat? Or was that a shirt? That was a coat. Oh. Simon, you are crafting when you're done. Equip coat. Kana, you need happiness somehow. So happiness means you need, you need more greens. So why don't you get some green out of that chair? There you go. Go and do that, then then you'll probably go work on a couple more coats and put them on the shelf. Though, once the coats are done, we still have a beanie. There is still someone who didn't have a hat on. Was it Carter? It was, and you're all the way back down here again. All right, well, we'll go until you start to freeze your the tips of your ears off, then we'll bring you in, but you need to remember to get that on you. problem with, with clothing is once you tell them to do it, they drop whatever they're doing, even if they're all the way down here. So how do we do here? We got... Well, that's louder from this side. We got our torches rebuilt, which is probably a good distraction for the bugs to work on instead of working on us. So that's fun. Oh, that's what I was hearing. Edmund's down here doing the same thing. Okay. Well, if you guys keep up with that and don't freeze, we might get to see what happens when one of these goes away. Three of six, three of six. Eh, it'll be next time. It takes a while to do that, and there's still two more stages in each one. But we can hang around here long enough to see... Is that a cloud going by? I hope it is. Boy, it turned nighttime quick. Um, what are we going to get out of these? And I was still thinking about that pathway, so maybe after this I'll pause while there's still some daylight. What happened there? You got scrap metal out of it. Okay. And how are you doing otherwise? Can I get another round out of you? I actually could. You're in pretty good shape. Uh, Health-wise... Um, doesn't even say chili. Okay, so Edmund, why don't you continue scavenging? Carter, we'll see what you get, and then I'm going to head up top. Speed you up a little. And there you... Ooh! Seven electronics! Nice! And you're transporting those, and I'd say yes, thank you. Take those up, and then if I think of it... Research solar panels. Which probably takes electronics, huh? Hey, that worked. That timed out really well. Where do we want some solar panels? If we can get them where there's already poles, then we don't have to run power to them. Um, I moved the wedding arch out over near this little grove of trees. And you are set for... Get to that. You are set for observe, yeah. So maybe this would be a nice little wedding area. Should it ever happen, put plants and things around this and and uh, pretty that up. But um, so we don't need to worry about solar or uh, keeping this area nice. We can go ahead and destroy it or whatever we want. Though I do want to see if anything can grow back here next season. But solar panels, they should be up in this area, I think. I see the sun coming up over there and going down over there. So that must be south. Though, yeah, west, east, south behind me. So you would think that the solar panels should be kind of aimed in this direction. The game doesn't truly care that way, but a bank of them out over here? Or do we want them close, tucked in, and safe? Let's put a couple right here. Power? Power. And that means two electronics and ten... Is that scrap? If it is, that's pretty cheap. Ten scrap metal. Okay. So in that case, let's put three of them in. Um, anywhere in particular. Pathway comes up like this. And goes out to this over here. So maybe we are kind of like here. Hmm. 
blocky objects. Oh, we've got the drying racks right there. Okay. Let's go right there, there, and there. And maybe they will extension cord into the house. Don't know. Otherwise, we'll run power across and tap into it like so. We'll get those built. Carter, you are on your way up. I'm going to pause here before it gets any darker and play with this a little bit. See if it's even possible. I'll check in with you in a moment. So this is the earthen floor, or sod floor. If I then ramp down like that. And then, unfortunately, the log's in the way. Maybe it'll let me. If I grab you again and copy, and then start another one from, I guess, there. There. To probably there, and then ramp down. Hmm. There, that's not bad. Though it... It's trying to automatically drop another one down here, which is kind of interesting. I don't know if they're going to take this path. It's not the straightest route. Hmm. I'm thinking this ends at ground level. I can't drop down any lower to tell. But you're pretty limited in what you can do. It's not really giving me stairs. Would this have looked better with stairs, meaning wood? Probably would have. Let's grab all of this and cancel orders. And let me try that again. So if I get in line with the stairs and go until it drops down into the ground, come out maybe to here, hold the shift, so I can take off this direction. Hmm. Maybe two of them and then ramp or steer downward? Or do we steer? Oh, we could steer like that. Well. Hmm. Like that and get rid of you. Okay, so that drops down to supposedly ground level. Let's grab you and copy. And... See, the problem is I don't know what's going to happen at the other end. If I do that, why does that turn green? What's happening there? Does it join it up? Is that... I don't know what's going on there. Why does that turn green? So if you head down like this, and then another... Oh, it took the stairs away, is what you're saying. Okay. So that's interesting. Oh, and it joins up. Okay. So if I were to copy you and put you over here, are we kind of doing the same thing again? Hmm. Okay, we'll grab you, copy... And I need to get down as low as I can. That kind of sinks in right there. Can I get into that hill? Not really. See, I don't know how much of a lip's going to be in this side, and can they step on that? We could try. Get to there. And another staircase that comes down. And another staircase... That comes down off of that. Okay. Oh, that's that's actually looking pretty good there. Hmm. Sometimes it creates a, a new landing and sometimes it doesn't. So if I were to copy again, what can I get out of this? It's trying to find something to attach to. Okay. So i got to grab this guy and create something to attach to. And I could drop down into there and then attach to it. And it then created another one and copy 
Okay, that's looking pretty good. Except it didn't give me the landing this time. But that's kind of the idea. I don't know that I like the gaps or... Can I stare off this end? Uh, copy stairs and come off of here. I cannot. So it's not going to let me go from here down. Okay. And it's not going to let me floor into the hillside any further. That was the furthest it would go. Well, let's build just this part. And it doesn't pop up, so we, it is within our 87 logs to make that much. We'll see what that's starting to look like. And if it's just a little bit too ragged and hit and miss, or if it kind of looks rustic and authentic against our our uh, log cabin over there. Yeah, we'll see. Anyway, uh, 1,700 hours. Dark is coming. Carter is getting something to eat. Eat, eat, and we're running fast. There we go. Edmund was doing one last round of scavenging. He is still in decent condition all the way around. You found a railgun sniper. Ooh. Hmm. I'd say Rita gets that one. There's probably no doubt she'll have the best aim with it. She's got the best... Well, she had the best combat skills. How do I find that out? I think I go to hunting. Hunt. So she still has the best skills. Okay. So Rita gets that. Edmund, you could do one more round. This is five of six. Let's let's do that. Edmund, you scavenge one more time. Rita, come on down here and equip the railgun sniper. And that should cause you to then bring your handgun back up and put it on a shelf. Or put it in a wardrobe. Yeah. So Edmund's scavenging, scavenging skills are pretty good. Pretty fast. So it won't take him too long to get that last stage. And I kind of like to be here when it happens to see what happens when we go six of six. I've never seen the end of one of these before. <clears throat> Carter is deconstructing shelves. Um, let's find something better for you to do. It's a long trip just to go break something. Um, anything else that truly needs to be done right now? Yeah, solar panels. Let's, uh, let's get these built. So we're a third of the way done. Rita is equipping. And then I want her to transport the pistol. Yep, good job. All right. Dog is out here. Um, do we have fuel yet? We have 30 fuel. Do we send Rita out with her new railgun sniper to go check out the screeching noise that's very possible you're in decent shape except for food uh, Rita come on up and grab a meal and then we'll set up an expedition to send you out in the night and we did that to Edmund he came back fully rested or almost fully rested so I guess it's not a worry about sending him out tired They'll sleep on the way. Otherwise, pull back a little bit so I can read. Uh, handling fermentation barrel. All the fuel is coming out of it. Okay. And almost done there. Constructing a solar panel. And nothing else super important. Kana, did, are you no longer breaking down? You're, you're in good shape now. Okay. <clears throat> okay, what happens here? It's unfortunately dark and nighttime, but still, what happens here? You found some synthetic fabrics, and it says zero of six. So we get yet another round out of it. Hmm. Okay. Then that is salvage. That is salvage. Was it scavenge before? Did I mess that up? I'll have to check my uh, check earlier in the episode when I edit it. Maybe we never got to the final uh, set of, of stages on this guy. Only this one. Hmm, that's possible. So it's this one that's going to give us the show if, if that's the case. 
Okay. So you're bringing up the fabric, which is good. We will someday learn how to use that for this stuff here. Synthetic armor. So alloy and synthetic uh, materials. Okay. And then we'll get some serious uh, um, armor out of that. So with that then we've got wind turbines we are still happy with leaving these two next we still cannot get to the advanced research desk until we get a cpu core in stock otherwise nothing new has popped in okay too bad finding a real gun sniper doesn't give us the ability to make you know to that we still have to research it Anyway, that is still happening. You are loading up. What? Ah, fuels. Good. So, need 50 more bug meat. We should have it, right? Yeah, we do. So, Reed is getting something to eat. Simon said crafting four. Simon is transporting a weapon. And then, Simon, I want you to make liquid fuel out of that guy before someone else does something another thing with it that thump was this guy so solar panels put the right organic compounds under a transport transparent surface attach cables and see the magic flow of electricity only disadvantage our panels do not work during the night okay and wind turbines wind turbines work on a simple principle instead of using electricity to make wind wind turbines use wind to make electricity <laughs> we just need to design an electric fan and then build a total opposite of it. Okay, so that gives us power. How do we connect power to grid? Outside of working hours, doesn't actually say it's not connected to the grid. Is there a cord that's under the snow? Or does it just simply not tell me we're not connected to the grid? I don't know. Let's copy you. And now we've got three power cables. Okay. How far can I go and still maintain three power cables? That's looking pretty good right there. So we start to lose it there. I think there's only two. Or am I just in a bad angle? I'm still at a bad angle. There's three. There's two. Okay. So that, and we can officially grab that other one there. Okay. Do I want it to look better? Let's make it look better. You're going to go there, and you're going to go here. All right. That kind of keeps us consistent, though. We are a little wonky right there. But I don't know if there's going to be another building here or not. That's why I didn't care what happened there. So that connects these guys, and we now have power during the day, powering our lights which is good because our lights we, we don't have windows yet and if we did we'd have to close them anyway yeah so one last check for temperature we are outside uh 18 degrees pretty cold we're inside 60s and 50s hallway 50s bedrooms 30s but above freezing okay so we're getting by even in a cold snap. Okay, so Carter is constructing a solar panel by grabbing sheet metal. Let's make sure you grab all that sheet metal. There's a bug left. Where'd that bug come from? Hmm. We must have shot him from there and hit him all the way over here. Yeah. Oh, Rita, you are in decent enough condition you need to go make a trip let's do it you expedition we're going to go see what the shrieking noises are oh boy rita you're it i'll hit i'll hit save for you okay in case i gotta bring you back to life <laughs> let's do it all right so that's happening I disagreed with Rita on something, Simon or Paulette. Don't know which one it was. But with that, I think we are pretty much 
at the end of the excitement for this day. We're coming up on midnight, and I don't know where I'm coming up on because I've edited some things out or going to have to for different things that I've done. But yeah, next time we will get this built, see what it looks like. I think it might look pretty good. And if I can plant bushes around it and put some little, some of these trees around it, that might look even better. I don't know if they're going to walk on them. I doubt they're going to path it. In fact, this is probably where that stair step path like this needs to be. I wonder if I can make that happen. If you get the right angle, will it continue the, uh, the pattern instead of abandoning it? Don't know, but that would be a good place for some stairs right there. But Carter has made his way back up. He... He's taken the long way around to the solar panels. Everybody else is pretty much in bed, and Rita is gone. Yeah, so I think we're going to call this one done right here, and, and uh, I'll catch you next time, folks. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.